Hey, my name is Laura Foy and welcome to another week of Do The Damn Thing, the weekly show where we talk to entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, fempreneurs, ladypreneurs, manpreneurs, whoever who is uh, out there and doing it. And so this week we have a very special guest. I am talking with Christy Horan, who is the founder of Brands, uh, sorry, Babes with Brands, sorry. Uh, Christy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Laura. I'm so happy to be here. Awesome. And we're happy to have you. So uh, before we get into your story, which I am excited to tell, uh, tell us a little bit about what Babes with Brands is. Yes. Babes with Brands is a community of women entrepreneurs. And our mission is to connect, to collaborate, inspire, and educate through community, through social media, and through events. Um, we started about two years ago and um now it's grown bigger and bigger and bigger especially on social media of course our in-person events had to wait for a little bit but um excited to get back to those as well so did you have a brand and sort of just took your circle of friends and turned it into a community or how did this get started yeah that is such a great question so I started a business. I'm a dancer and choreographer. Right. And I started my dance choreography business in May of 2015. And what that is, is I go, it's called Powerhouse Dance Works. Right. And I um, go around and I teach high school, middle school, college, um, pro, semi pro dance teams for either competition routines or for um, game day presentation routines. So that was my business. And um, I started it in 2015. I was working full time as an inside sales rep. Right. Hated it. Learned a lot. (laughs) Is that your dream, dream, Christy? (laughs) (laughs) That's my dream. Okay. (laughs) But I did learn a lot, which is great. Um, So I started that back in 2000, Powerhouse Dance Works back in 2015. Um, I got a little nervous about being a full-time entrepreneur. So I did choreography during the summer, which is actually like the season to do it. It's during when schools are out mm-hmm. and everyone's planning for the school year. Um, all the choreography usually happens in the summertime. So then I actually went back to work for a marketing firm for about almost two years, about a year and a half. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to become a full-time entrepreneur. That happened in (laughs) January, 2017. Just do it. And I've been going, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) And I've been full-time ever since then, um, which is, which is awesome. I love it. Just for people who may not be clear. So is there is just do you make money off babes with brands or is it just a community where people can sort of engage and share wisdoms or is there a business behind it? There is a business behind it. That's such a great question. First and foremost, it's a community. And (laughs) (laughs) thank you. Um, There is a business behind it. We um, used to host events. So that's actually how we started. And the reason why I want Yes, it was fun, creative networking events in Washington, D.C., because that's where I'm located. Um, So I was like, one of the things that I really did miss about my sales job back in when I was doing the dang thing as an entrepreneur um, and I was first starting out was I was home. Granted, you know, I had a a lot of friends because I was working in the fitness community and performing as a um, professional dancer in D.C., so I had these teams of friends. However, like on the weekends when I was home or during the week when I was home alone working, I was getting really lonely and I wanted um, a community to bounce off um, ideas like struggles, um, you know, successes. And that's kind of where I had the idea to start Babes with Brands. And one day I had the opportunity to do it. A PR firm reached out to me and was like, do you want to put on a cocktail, host a cocktail hour at this local restaurant? And I kind of just jumped on that opportunity. I was like, yeah, we're calling it Babes with Brands. We're doing it. It's a fun networking event. Um, So it started off, the first event was super successful back in April 2018, I believe. And um, it was like 25 of, I invited all of the women that I knew in DC who either had a brand or a business or wanted to start one. And that's kind of how we started with the events. 
Um, and then I tried to keep doing that and they, and I tried to make them free or by having, um, sponsors or, um, just kind of really affordable to go to, right. um, because I wanted to get as many people in the community as possible. So we de- definitely did start out with events. One of our most successful events was actually July, 2019. It was called the summer bash. And it was around 60 women who came in and we had vendors, we had a wine tasting. So we definitely started out as in person. Um, this is a long story short to answer your question. Um, we definitely Fine. started out as in person and now we've moved to more digital courses. Um, so we definitely are a business. However, like I said, we definitely, I, I have a Facebook group for the community. We um, interact online on Instagram. And then also through email and, and in person when we can get back to it. Nice. Now we are live. So if anyone watching out there has questions um, for Christy about Babe with Brands or about, you know, how to start your own community, feel free to enter them in the chat. We've had a lot of people uh, just loving, you know, that you did the damn thing and they're commenting and you can go back and watch the comments because I don't think you could see them. I love it. I see them and they're really loving your story. So, oh, that uh, makes me so happy. And I would imagine you know, given coronavirus, while it was, uh, you know, maybe a negative because you had to stop doing your in-person events, I personally have seen a rise of female entrepreneurs starting their own online businesses, you know, I mean, and male entrepreneurs, I mean, yeah. entrepreneurs in general, you know, people being like, you know, I got to work from home, I got to build something and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a course or I'm going to be a coach or whatever it is. So have you seen an yeah. influx of people wanting to join your group, your community? Yes, I have. We have grown tremendously over the last six months, I guess now. Um, And honestly, now is the perfect time to start a business because you have this extra time and and to all the people who pivoted their businesses that is amazing. I personally, I'm so grateful for the internet. I am so grateful for Wi-Fi. I'm so grateful for social media to be able to ca- connect with infinite amounts of entrepreneurs across not only the United States, but the world. Um, so yeah. And, and, um, just to tell you online on Instagram, we've grown in the last six months, I think by either 3000 or 4,000, um, the, audience members in our community, which is just amazing. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking at right now, we're looking at some of your, uh, some of the pictures from your event and, uh, yes. it looks like you guys have a, a ton of fun. It looks like, uh, an amazing Thank group. You. Do you, I've got a couple questions Thank here. You. So Lexi wants to know what was the moment you saw all your hard work pay off? It hasn't happened. Oh, I, 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 that's such a great question. Oh my gosh. I think going back to the summer bash of 2019, um, I think that was the moment where, especially for babes with brands, speaking specifically about babes with brands, um, seeing all the women come enjoy the event, the event went super smoothly, seeing all of the, um, I guess just like everything come to fruition of all of my hard work. Um, that was probably one of the the biggest moments of Babes with Brands where I was like, okay, this is, people enjoy this. I'm going to keep doing this. This is so worth it. Um, so I would say that moment, it kind of took a year for me to be like, all right, let me, let me, we are full steam ahead. Um, so I think that, that was, that's such a great question. I think that was one of those moments. And her follow-up was how long did it take? And you asked that, but now these events, these events cost money to produce. So do you, charge for admission? Is that how you recoup and hopefully gain? Yes. So we charge for admission. And like I said, we like to, I like to keep it affordable. So pretty low, I think for specifically, it's always a learning experience. So specifically for that event for the summer bash of 2019, um, I think I, I charged a little bit too low. It was $25 per person, Mm -hmm. which was awesome. Was it all Um, you could drink? Cause I would go for 25 all you can. Yes, it was. <laughs> you it was you can lost your there shirt on that one. There. You did get your hair done. Yeah, I tried to make it like oh, like a it. girl's night out. Thank you. Um, 
But to answer your question, so we charge and then we also have sponsors who pay a monetary fee. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Now, do you seek out or do, or do people drawn to like specific industries? Like if I owned um, an art studio, what value would there be for me joining Babes with Brands? Will I find fellow artists who want to, you know, submit art to my art studio or, you know, like, oh, did you freeze? Um, yes, I did. Okay, so you asked. I was just back. asking if there's a certain type of brand that would benefit more or that you cater towards. Like, are you in the beauty industry? You mentioned you could get your hair done. Yep, that's such a good question. So this specific event was actually at a salon. So that's why we did the hair. Okay, um, not all. You can get your hair done. But they're not all like that. Some of them, a lot of people, um, we do like fitness events. A lot of our events are based around uh, <laughs> cocktails. And we definitely do have that element. Yeah, <laughs> that element to it. Um, or fitness. Um, and it's so fun. And then the last one we actually hosted was about money and investing. Um, I try to target different, different categories right. that go into either building a business or allowing you to um, turn your side hustle into a full time um, entrepreneur gig. Ah. Um, yeah. So I'm trying. Oh yeah. And in beauty, we actually were going to do a beauty event right when COVID happens. We were going to go back to do that one. Um, but, uh, not what hasn't happened yet. <laughs> now you, you mentioned how you did have to go online and Shannon Mac yeah. is asking, you know, people get lonely. Uh, do you guys, do you have any yeah. stories of how your community has helped overcome this loneliness? That's such a good question. So I like live events. Um, so we have done two live events and it's been a digital course for Instagram specifically and how you to grow and reach your target audience on Instagram. Um, and part of that now we're offering it digitally, but I really like the in-person element to it or in person, you know, online element to it where you're in real time. And you can communicate with those women. We like to keep it a smaller group. So about 10 to 15. So that, um, yeah, so that not only can you like communicate with those women in the group, but after that, we um, take it off our online to a chat session so that they can continue that conversation and form um, even tighter bonds after that. Yeah, absolutely. I've got another question out here. Uh, Shannon wants to know uh, what your community needs in order to grow and feel supported right now. What are their biggest pain points and what is, you know, uh, what is your company doing to help those things? Uh, that another, man, these are all great questions. <laughs> the very intelligent uh, audience. I didn't know if you knew this, but yes. I, hate her I love it. Highly intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the, uh, um, the previous question touched on loneliness. I think that is something that's huge that's going on right now. Um, something that Babes with Brands specifically offers, and we offer it all the time, but I've tried to amp it up even more during these last several months, is inspiration. So not just like a blind neglect for everything that's going on right now, but but offering inspiration on Instagram, on our um, our group chats. Um, and just the, kind of the inspiration to keep going and that your dreams are still going to happen or your goal or your idea for however your ideal, you know, life is still going to happen. It's you're just taking maybe a different path to get there right now. Right. Absolutely. Um, one more question from the audience and then I've got a couple. So uh, Kat is asking if you have anyone in the nonprofit sector or are you uh, really catered for pro for profit businesses? That's such a good question. Um, so uh, personally in the small knit community, we don't have anybody in nonprofit that I know of personally, but I'm sure in part of our audience we do. Right. Um, we also do a lot. We just started doing, a, um, partnering with one of, uh, actually she took the course. Her name's Allie and she is a lawyer who helps with education and, um, kind of moving racial injustices forward. So she does a lot of that and we've, um, we've connected with her and really support her as well. So I think that's probably, um, the closest we have right now to nonprofit. 
Nice, nice. You know, um, you know, I'm interested. I'm, I'm new to this world of networking, you know, and how important it is. In fact, we just had uh, the Hipcat Society. We had a our very first mixer recently. Um, and it was kind of a new opening my eyes experience because that's just not how I've operated my personal businesses in the past. But I do now realize how important it is. So when you're having these events, is the benefit really to get to meet the other people and potentially collaborate with them? Or is it more of the community where you're just sharing advice and tips or is it, you know, something else? So it, that's so interesting because I, um, thought it would be more so of uh, collaborating with, right. with each you can person. buy my products and, and I can buy your products. <laughs> right, right. Or like, you know, what we're doing right now, we can go, we can go online and pair up. Um, but what I found from these events, it, it was more about community. It like, it came to me that it was during one of the events and one of the women there was like, this is awesome. I've never been to anything like this before where it just feels like a real community of people who are doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. Right. Um, what, and she was, she was, she had her own business with uh, several other um, ladies who were there. Um, it was kind of like a fitness health business, but also other women there were doing something completely different, but the fact that they were going, they could bond over being in that same situation about being an entrepreneur. Right. So I think, I think as far as based with brands, it's more about the community um, than it is about the collaboration, which is interesting. Cool. I mean, that's awesome. Cause I'm always uh, looking for new communities and I can use a little support as I'm sure we all can right now. Now let's talk yes. about when you got started, right? Since this is do the damn thing and people are like, but yes. how, but where, but, but who, you know, like, so did you have experience planning events? Was that something you did in your marketing days? Uh, maybe in your dance days, which you're still a dancer, but you know, like how realistically did you know how to start and what to do? Um, so it's so funny that you say that because it really is true. People are so, I guess, like astonished that you're doing something that they are kind of not used to that. I think that's so, um, I found being an entrepreneur that people are just kind of like, Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Cause some people are so accustomed to just like going and getting a job and then keep working from there and moving up. That's what I've found in my experience. Right. Um, so find the line. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. So with me, I, I've heard that a lot. Like, oh, how are you going to do this? And I'm like, I'm going to figure it out. Um, so as far as I, it's a little bit of both with the event. I had planned events at my marketing job. So I kind of knew what went into that, what vendors were, how to get sponsors, sponsorship sheets, kind of what registration looked like. Right. It's those little things where you're, where you're kind of like, I don't know. And I, I, thankfully I did have a background in that. Um, so I was able to, um, put some of that knowledge to use, which, which was awesome. But I think to be honest, it's a lot easier than I think people think it is. It's, it's just like anything else. You can pick up any skill, just one step at a time and you'll, you will be where you want to be. Yeah, you know, um, in talking, in, you know, just doing this show and in my, in my regular job, I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and most of them say, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know. And you yes. kind of just figure it out as you go. You have an inkling of an idea of what you think it's going to be like, and then it's totally different, but you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's so true. It's a part of that. And then what I found really helps is taking courses online from other entrepreneurs who know what they're doing and who have proven that they know what they're doing. So this whole like knowledge industry, um, online and the online courses and stuff that has personally really helped me. So I felt like it's part taking courses on subjects that you want to learn. Right. Um, and then doing it, right? Making and, it happen. And now I noticed you sell uh, some, I think, some different social media courses through through yeah. your Babes and Friends website. Um, and I would imagine that that um, library of courses is just going to grow, given the fact as you do more and more, right? I mean, that's the thing. You do yeah. it, 
you figure out how to do it and then you teach other people how to do it. <laughs> exactly. And you literally read my mind. That's just what I've released is the first part of it. Um, I've already had a, have an outline for the second part and I'm just going to keep building on it. Be exactly. Like you said, because the more, you know, well, the more, you know, the more you grow and what you don't know, you don't know. Exactly. Like you said. So <laughs> what's, what's a day in the life like for, for the founder of babes with brands? I like that question too. So, um, I like to start my mornings off slow <laughs> as I, and I have a morning routine, but I, I like to start off slow. So I wake up, I read, um, I'll get ready. I've just started to do 15 minutes of meditation in the morning. And I really am enjoying that. I recently started doing that. Um, and then I'll make my coffee. I'll make my smoothie. I'll take my dog Prince for a walk and then I'll come back. And, um, I'm not only just doing babes with brands, I'm also, um, hosting online fitness classes and dance classes. So I'll usually have a class that I teach in the afternoon or maybe in the evening. In between there, I always think about, okay, what can I do today to move the needle forward? Right. So I'll write down, um, about three to six need to do things and I'll kind of tick those off. So whether it's um, checking email. Well, I'll check my email every day, but check email. Um, a hundred times. A hundred times. <laughs> Phone attached to my hand. No, I try not to like, um, I usually like kind of either check my email in the morning or at night, oh, but, um, <laughs> things. Um, so, and then I'll do, um, any marketing that we need to do, whether it's on social media or through email marketing, um, and then check automations, make sure those are all up to date. I also recommend if you can, as an entrepreneur, automate everything that you possibly can. Absolutely. Um, it makes, yes. And I just like, I've just started doing that and it's made all the difference. It just, you have some it really like, helps. Which particular automations really help you the most? Yes. So as far as the email marketing, I use active campaign and there are, um, you can, <laughs> yay, I'm glad you approved. I like it. Um, <laughs> it's easy to use and it's also super helpful. So if somebody signs up for your newsletter and make sure you have, if you're starting entrepreneur, make sure you have a newsletter and make sure, or an email list and make sure you have a website. Those are the two biggest things that I can, it doesn't have to be the best, but those are the two things. If you're just starting out, I really recommend getting, um, if you need so, a website, uh, Hipcat Society does make wonderful websites. Just saying. Woo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love it. Anytime you can. <laughs> um, so I uh, make sure that I have an email automation series that is welcoming everyone to Babes with Brands. Mm -hmm. And then also, if there's something that I'm launching or promoting, I make sure that I also have an email automation that has that. And email automation just means a series of emails um, tailored to the, for anyone who's watching, who doesn't know, um, tailored to the, um, the person who logs on to receive your email list. Right. Right. Um, so that certain, um, a series of emails to send based on either something they do, something they click on or times or whatever. Yeah. It makes your life. So you, know, you could just sit back and sip your margarita and those emails get sent out. <laughs> now, you did mention any work you might have to do on social. So we're going to take a look right now at your um, Instagram, which is beautiful. It is one of the things that, um, you know, really had me drawn to Babes with Brands. You've got such a, uh, a distinct style and you're very uplifting. Um, you've obviously spent some time you know, researching, you know, what makes a beautiful Instagram feed. So what is your social strategy and is it Instagram primarily focused? It is Instagram primarily focused. Um, I figure I've tried Facebook. I haven't tried TikTok, but, um, Instagram is where I find that our niche lives. So women entrepreneurs who are between 25 and 34, who are just starting out on their first or zero to two years of business. Um, and I've, you know, I've tried different things over the years with the Instagram strategy, but it always comes back to, um, inspiration and value that I can offer. I do have that checkerboard look, which yeah. makes it really cohesive and nice to look at. Right. Um, and I've tried different things and they just, 
they don't work as well. So I stick to what I know that our audience loves, which is that inspiration and value and a little bit of educational content. And then what's awesome with, with Instagram, if you need to do, um, you know, if you need to give more info, they have awesome feature, very helpful features like carousels, like IGTV, mm-hmm. Reels just came out. Um, so I've been trying to do some of those with Fades with Brands. Um, yeah, and something with Instagram as far as I think what has made Fades with Brands so successful is, or successful so far, is the shareable content. So if Either you tag your friends in the post who can relate or you want to share some love to, or it's just super shareable content. So they want to blast it out on their stories. And then that helps more and more people see, see you, the, um, the content posted. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so glad you love it. Oh, I love it. I mean, you've got, you know, 4,500, about 4,500 followers. And, you know, some people I find think that they need to over compliment, over over complicate their their graphics or, you know, and it's just so busy and so cluttered. Whereas yours is just very clean design. It's white on pink or it's pink on black. Um, but it, it, it draws your eye in and it stops you. So it's just a, another testament that any of you out there who think that you need to have, you know, professional design skills or, you know, some extravagant photographer working for you in order to have a really successful Instagram feed, you know, you're proof that you don't, I mean, I don't know if you have a design degree but (laughs) no I don't (laughs) I don't I go on Canva Canva is awesome and like you said it's very clean and simple and it but it it works the message still gets across it does work and now we've only got a few minutes left but I wanted to talk to the people out there who uh we're getting a lot of comments that you're very inspiring they love your energy so what would you say to uh someone out there who may be stuck Maybe they have a block, they have a passion, they want to be an entrepreneur, but they don't know what to do. Like, what advice would you give them? Oh, I love it. Um, Because I've been there before. I would just tune into yourself a little bit more. Think about what it is you really, really love and also how you love to help people or how you would like to help people in a way. And then once you find out what that is, start making actions to do it. Even if they're super small, even if you're asking your friend or somebody who once said like, I love your advice on this, um, start making those small actions. And then once you build the confidence and you're like, this is how I really feel like this is exactly what I want. Um, then keep, keep doing that. And if you're unsure And you start something and you're like, "Mm, I'm going to tweak it. That is totally fine too. You, everything evolves. You can pivot with your business. Your business can grow with you. Um, But I would just start with that. Start with the, you know, the mindset part of it. What do I, you know, what do I want and how I can help people? And then think about who exactly you're helping and then go from there. And just, even if it's small little pieces, it'll make up a greater piece in a long, in the long run. Absolutely. Maybe join a community of supporters. Exactly. <laughs> I'd happy, I'd be happy to have you in Vase's brand. There you go. <laughs> uh, it's funny that you mentioned, think about who you can serve because one of the, um, our, our mantra here at hip cat society is, is marketing with love. And the big thing of that is, you know, serve, don't sell. And that's really, I think a shift that we're seeing, Um, you know, across almost every industry where it's not just about buy from me, buy from me. It's like, yeah, I can can help you. And, and I'm sure that, you know, you're finding the people in your community are, are, I'm assuming coming from that same positioning. Yes. Yeah, they they are. That's, and I asked something on our um, Instagram the other day in questions, like, tell me your why I want to know your why. And a lot of people said, um, I, (laughs) I want to help people. I, um, I want to help people in this specific region or I want to do this for my loved ones. So I, I think that sense of community and having that accountability is, is everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are out of time. I'm so sorry, but I had such a great time talking to you before we go. I, I, I want to give you a chance to tell everyone all the wonderful places that they can find you and then can connect you. Um, and you can get to potentially join babes of brands and connect with a whole slew of other uh, badass female entrepreneurs. So go ahead and spout out all yes. of your locations for me. And I'll post the video below as well. Amazing. I love it. 
So you can find us on Instagram at Babes with Brands. You can also find us online, www.babeswithbrands.com. Um, we have, you can book a session with me, take an online course, or we also have a ton of hashtags that will help you out and boost your posts. Um, or you can join our community and just search Babes with Brands under groups on Facebook and I will let you write in and you can come in. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I will certainly be following you. all of your success. I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, we'll see you next Thank week you. on Do the Damn Thing. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.